Hi guys, in this video, we will discuss about the duplicate management. That what is the use of the duplicate management and why to use them. So basically, when a user try to create and save a record, the record is first compared with the existing Salesforce record for duplicate. And secondly, when a user try to edit a record, the record is first checked whether the user has changed the value of the matching rule field. So who can use the duplicate management is the, all the Salesforce customers using Essential, Professional, Enterprise, Unlimited and Developer Editions can use the duplicate management. So let's quickly jump into the that how to create the duplicate management how to create matching rule, how to create duplicate rule. So first click on the gear icon, click on the setup. Now write matching rule in the quick find box. So I here I am created two matching rules account matching rule and contact matching rule I have deactivated the standard account contact lead uh, matching rules so account matching rule where the name have the uh, account name has the exact value and the account website have exact value in the matching so activate this matching rule don't forget it so similarly for the contact I have created contact last name is fuzzy and the contact phone is exact so this is already activated so now in the quick find box write the duplicate rule so where we can use the these matching rules so duplicate rule so create a new rule for account like duplicate account rule FRs record label security by pass sharing rules so here is the action it specify what happens when a user try to save a duplicate record action on create action on edit so now here we need to choose our matching rule so this is a standard one we have created a account matching rule so so here we can see that account name is exact and the account website is exact so save it and activate it don't forget to activate it so next one is for contact so choose your object contact contact duplicate rule bypass sharing rule action on create action on edit so a standard contact matching rule so choose your matching rule contact matching rule here we can see the last name is fuzzy and the contact phone is exact so save it and activate it so it's activated so now we can See that how to how the message will be shown that your account is duplicate or your contact is duplicate you have already a account with this name or contact so here we can see we have a account with the test account account name we have a matching rule on account name and website so let's see So here 
Our account name is test account and the website is www.abc.com. So let's try to create a duplicate account with this name and the website. Account and the website www.abc.com. So here we can see that uh, it uh, alert us that uh, you have it already duplicate. If we click on the view duplicate, we can see the previous account. This is the previous account. Or we can also open this account. So we can, uh, it will not us to stop saving. We can save, still save the record. Let's see. And uh, here the duplicate, potential duplicate section is not here. So let's add it. that add it page. Potential duplicate section. Now we can see the duplicate section also. Here we can see that view duplicate. If we click on the view duplicate, we can see both the accounts. In there. So if we want to merge these accounts also, then we can click on the both the account and click on the next and we can merge them with the click on the merge that we can if we think that both the account are seen, then we can merge them. You can see that only one account is now. Similarly for the contact, we have a contact Mark Mitchell where the account name is Mark Mitchell and the phone number is 12345678. So we have matching rule that account, uh, sorry, contact last name must be fuzzy. So if we create another account with this mark Mitchell and some other spell Mitchell then we can see the potential duplicate so let's create a, another contact like mark now change the spell M-I-T C double H double H yeah and phone number must be same exact and save the record then we can see that one duplicate we found one potential duplicate of this contact so if we click on the else, then we can see that both the contact are there that mark with the previous one and the latest one if we want to merge both the contacts then we can select both the checkboxes and click on the next next and merge with the A. so this is all about the duplicate management i hope you like the video thank you for watching this video